EA Sports. It's in the game. We're in Gator country. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium is the setting for this football matchup. And it's a little cloudy out here tonight for this game between the Florida Gators and the Clemson Tigers. Welcome everybody, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. Clemson will have to find a way to contain the ability of this kid at quarterback. It's safe to say that there might not be a better athlete on the field today as this kid is good enough to beat the defense with his arm and his feet. Watch out, because I expect this quarterback to play extremely well today. Now let's head down for the coin toss brought to you by Coke Zero.
Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Fielded at the nine. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. I'd run it off tackle here. Nothing too fancy. Just establish a solid rushing game. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Complete, and he's brought down. How about that play? Well, it was a good pass, a good catch, and they are keeping the defense off balance by throwing on first down. Absolutely right. They'll bring in their dime package. It's caught one-handed. That's a big gain there for the offense. All that's doing is this quarterback more and more confident. First down, 10 yards to go. They line up in the shotgun, three wide. his tight end and he's taken down at about the 39 yard line a five yard gain you don't have to go deep every play to be successful they got five yards on the play and that's always a good game fires quickly and it's picked off he's into the open field wow this defensive back has great hands Maybe they should try him at receiver. This is one of my favorite plays in the playbook. Single back set, three wide receivers. This is a solid defense. Try it out. It's second and five here. Ball on the 36. From the gun. Swings it out there incomplete. Well, I don't know what he was looking at there because that wasn't exactly an open receiver. No, it wasn't open. But you know what? It still would have been a catch if that defensive back didn't knock it down. Excellent defense. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Runs it and oh, what a hit. They attempted to pick up the first by running it and they failed. Yeah, and the defensive line won that battle easily. So it's fourth down. Looks like they're gonna punt it away here. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. Mike spread the ball around here. Keep that defense on their toes. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They'll run the option. They'll knock him down for a loss. It was a defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. And when that kid gets a hold of you, then you usually go down. And you're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. He just didn't catch it. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. Slings it. Yeah, the defense did a great job of winning that series.
fourth down. And they're ready to punt this one away. And this one is a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. A good return there, guys. I'll tell you, the blocking was tremendous on that play. You're absolutely right. He made some good moves, but the blocking was solid. They come out with a big set. And they motion a guy to the left. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They get a good seven yards on that one. Hey, he picked up a nice gain of seven, seven yards on that play. Great pass. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Here's the give. Tackle at about the 43 yard line. Three yards there on the play. Three yard gain on the play. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. At the end of the first quarter, the score is tied at zero. AARP says go with this play. They go with the option. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. The, the halfback took the pitch but One couldn't find any running lane. The there were no running lanes because this defense had so much penetration into the backfield. He would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. They'll run for it. Can't get there. Well, they'll turn it over on downs. Did they have to go for it there? Well, sometimes you got to take your chances. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. This is what college football is all about. Oh, with the option. It's first and ten. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. We're moving in the right direction, and that's all that matters. Well, that <laughs> and the final score. It was a safe call on first down. You never know when someone's going to break loose and make a play. Fires it out. That outside linebacker better blitz with a sense of urgency next time. When you blitz on a passing play, you better get in there. Otherwise, the quarterback will shred you to pieces. First and 10. Ball on the 40. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Running out of time and down he goes. The defense brought the heat that time, guys. Yeah, the linebacker just fired through and got to him on that play. No chance for the quarterback. The aggressive defensive call worked there, Kirk. And if I'm the defensive coordinator, then I'm going to keep going after that quarterback. From the gun. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 37. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. The cornerback was in a very good position there to make the tackle. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Two yard line. Oh boy, that is a nice play on third down. The quarterback found his receiver and they connected on a big play. Big? That's an understatement, Kirk. This completion keeps the kick team off the field and gives them a new set of downs. Here's the give. He might have a chance. Big play and it's first and goal. They pick up another first, guys. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Ready. Little handoff. And 
they punch it in on the ground. And he's a good looking player, and he's showing us why they wanted him so badly coming out of high school. defense stepped up to the challenge on that last drive. And they sent a big message to that offense. If you go for it, then we'll stop you. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. Everybody in zone coverage was yelling, run! And the quarterback was able to pick him apart to keep this drive alive. The offense calls a timeout. This is a solid defense. Try it out. He makes a circus catch. Throwing the post route in the holes of zone coverage is just pitch and catch for these guys. They make it look so easy. He's backfield. They knocked it loose. Man, I thought he was going to catch that one. He had it in his hands for a second. Yep. And in that same second, the defender smashed into him, knocking the ball loose. Great defense. Sure was, Coach. Two tight ends set. Got a man. Watch out here. The defender wanted a head start, and they certainly got him for it. Offside. On the defense. That helps a little bit Still by moving them up five yards. <laughs> They'll take anything they can get, Kirk. An experienced coach would want to run this play. Ace backfield. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. How about that linebacker getting in there? This guy is mostly used to stop the run, but here he showed that he's not too bad against the pass either. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he's got it. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just good kick this one. He's to the 10. At the 36-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The count here in Ben Hill Griffin Stadium is Florida 7, Clemson 3. It seems like they want to start both halves with a football. They're lining up for an onside kick. Here's the onside. And he's taken down at the 38. Well, I'm not sure what the coach was thinking there. Thinking? He wasn't thinking at all. That's the problem. Single back set. Three wide receivers. They motion to the left. Straight in the middle. He meets the defense. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. No game, well, you know this guy has to protect himself. You're not kidding. He got walloped on that play. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. 
They go with the run. And down he goes. At the 37. Gain of less than a yard on the play. The running back just didn't have any room to move, Kirk. That's because the defense called the blitz at the right time. They were able to come after the running back before he went for big yards. Got it to the senior. And that pass and catch gives them a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27. Six DBs in the lineup. Draw play. Nice tackle made there to bring him down. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They come out with three wide receivers. Takes the handoff inside and stopped immediately. Not a lot on that one. AARP says go with this play. Ace backfield. Coach, that's a first down. A good-looking first down, too. They might want to run that one again in a couple of plays. He had some options out there. Single set back for you. That is tight end. Touchdown. And that one worked just like they draw it up, sir. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Clemson is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 10. They bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. The defense lines up with six DBs. Here's the halfback. Looks like a one-yard game. He wasn't able to get much one there with that middle linebacker foot. blitzing. Yeah, the defense had all the holes plugged up there. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. Throws a strike over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 35. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 35. They line up in the shotgun, three wide. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. They'll still be short of the first down. They didn't have far to go, Brad, but it didn't matter because this defense was ready for them. And now it's fourth down, Coach. Fourth down. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. And that was a pretty good return. One thing I noticed, guys, is this man is quick. Did you see how he hit that opening? Yeah, when he saw that hole, -a, he ran right through it. I thought he had a good chance to go all the way there. It's complete, and he's hit immediately. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The count here in Ben Hill Griffin Stadium is Clemson 10, Florida 7. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. And that was not a good call well, offensively. Lost. Nah, not a good call, only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee, you can never tell. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. And it's 
gets knocked down. Pass, number six, the intended receiver on the play. This one should keep that offense in check. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Single set back for you. Passes to the back, incomplete. He was wide open, guys. They missed a big opportunity on this play. He had a guy open, but he just couldn't get him the ball. So it's fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He gets it off. He's to the 10. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. I just let the players go out there and have some fun here. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. They line up in the shotgun, three wide. They go with the run. And they hit him in the backfield. Not a very successful run that time, Coach. Did you see his explosion off the defensive line? Woohoo! It seemed like he was in the backfield before the ball was even snapped. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. Quick throw out to the receiver. I'm curious to see if they continue to throw the football. They might try and mix it up a little bit. Then again, if it ain't broke, why fix it? They come out with four wide out. He catches it with one hand. There's a very impressive open field tackle. He ran a clean route, and the quarterback got it to him with a good pass. First down, and the receiver was able to shake off all the defenders that were trying to cover him, and that really made it easy for the quarterback to pick him out and throw him the ball. Passing the ball allows you to stop the clock a little easier because you can throw the ball away if you have to. Four wide. Throws it in a hurry. This isn't a great example, but I'll tell you something. This kid is really getting better at running his routes, which is truly an underrated quality these days. In this situation, the clock is very important. I tell my players to catch the ball and get out of bounds. EA Sports and Russell Athletic would like to congratulate today's players of the game. Nice job, guys. Fires quick, he catches another. What a play. For a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. I'd spread the ball around here. Keep that defense on their toes. It's first and ten. We're down to our final minute of this ball game. They come out with three wide receivers. Option right, and he dives forward. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. Get him in the backfield for a loss. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. I'd make sure that the players know to conserve time here on this pass play. They'll line it up again on third down. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Tackle right around the 16-yard line. They'll get a good chunk of yards on that play, but they're still looking to force down. Maybe that will push these guys up a bit and get them going on the next drive. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score. Clemson, 10, Florida, 7. As we take a look at our Pontiac game-changing performance, Kirk, let's get your final thoughts on this one. I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Florida had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. Well, that concludes another game of NCAA Football 09. For Kirk and Lee, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody.
Thank you for attending today's ball game. Please drive home safely.